Yeah, there's a few things that you can do for energy saving. Probably the first one I'd say is uh, LED lights. Um, a lot of people obviously use their lights at night and a long time, especially in winter it gets darker earlier. And uh, some, some older fashioned lamps can have very high wattage glows. If you're replacing them with LED, sometimes you can have a light fitting that may have had 50 watts. Uh, the halogen lights in the ceilings, they have like 50 watts and sometimes you can have 15 of those in a home very easily. You can now remove those, put LEDs in place and they can sometimes go as low as 7 watt. So you've got 50 watt minus, you're saving 43 watt per light and sometimes you can have 10, 15, 20, even up to 50, so that's a very big energy saving. The other one I'd say is, is have a look at your meter, because sometimes you can go on off-peak or shoulder. Those things are very important, and if you're on the right meter, you can then make sure things that cause a lot of electricity and a lot of prices can be put on after hours. For instance, a pool filter. That is the number one thing. A lot of people are told to put your pool filter on for about eight hours, and most people do that during the day. That is probably the most expensive time to run your filter. For me, at home, I'm on an off-peak uh, meter, which means at night, my electricity bill is the lowest. Instead of paying something like 28 cents a kilowatt, it might be down to five. I then put my filter on at night, saves a lot of money.